All right. I am finally back. We've rebranded to Dwarven Rips, formerly McSkizzle. Finally bringing out something new. Finally getting some product back now that we can do some openings in a position where we can do a lot more openings. Do some English, hopefully some more Korean like we were doing. It's great to finally be back. It's great to have a new name. Let me know if anyone likes it. I've, I've, I've pondered about it for a little bit. and I was like, you know, I'm kind of obsessed with dwarves and anything to do with dwarves. So I figured it would be nicely fitting to at least finally do something with dwarves. So here we are and we've got it. And <clears throat> we've got some new things here before we get into any openings for our welcome back. First, we have added the horn of the cards. This is a blow horn, I know, and we are going to use it every single time we get any major alternate arts or really nice pulls that we really been chasing. Hopefully we can use it a lot today and a lot often, and I haven't wasted all my luck in the earlier months, but that is going to be on standby for whenever we're ready. And for the first thing that we're going to bust back into for the coming back is going to be this bad boy right here. Is the Lucario and Tyranitar Heavy Hitters Premium Collection. This is the non-evolving Skies Edition because this was the second print run I believe it was they did. And I think it was uh, 2023 20, uh, they did this print run. And uh, they were originally $40 a piece. Uh, you get uh, 14 packs per plus the four coins and the, and the uh, four promos and the gigantic card. It's got a bunch of brilliant stars, astral radiance, um, some silver tempest in the bottom, and some lost origin. So about 285 a pack, I believe, is what that comes down to. But it's not bad. I know a lot of people have opened a lot of these boxes. Some people have gotten some good pulls, but I think a lot of people said that they didn't have a lot of good luck with it. But today we're hoping that we can because I do have a couple of these. So... I'm only opening one, so we're hoping this is the big one right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to break this thing open. And I will see you in just a moment. All right, here's a better look at those four coins. Oh, there goes the jumbo. Nice Lucario V uh, jumbo card. I don't usually save a lot of my jumbo cards. I'll just like put them up or anything. But honestly, I've been kind of thinking about getting one of those jumbo card binders just because I thought it was pretty funny. Nice selection of the coins, the Pikachu, the EV, the Charizard, and, uh, as, as you know, Score Bunny, that's what it is. <clears throat> All right, put it down, and here's just a little look for anyone that hasn't seen the promos out of the box, or it's leaving them in the box at the moment, but honestly... Out of all of them, I think that Tyranitar Hollow looks the best. Art on that thing is amazing. Sorry I can't get a little bit of a better angle there, but that Tyranitar is awesome looking. All right, let's look at our pack selection just one more time. I haven't pre-sorted them yet, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So let's see what we got here. We got one Lost Origin, two, three. Got an Astral, Silver, 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 Astral. Brilliant Stars, Astral, a lot of Astral, which is good because it's one of my favorite sets of this generation. All right, so we got three Silver Tempest in this one, four Brilliant Stars, nice, and four Astral Radiance, and three Lost Origins. So really not a bad pack lineup now. I think this box goes for about 60 or now, maybe 61, 62 on TCG Player with the non-Evo Skies packs in it. So still <clears throat> not bad for a $40 pickup at Sam's Club, but I do know that at, uh, they are out of stock online now, and I don't know if any of them are still around at any of the Sam's Clubs. But anyways, let's see here. I think what we'll do today is we'll start with our Silver Tempest, and then we'll go into Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, and then Lost Origin for last. All right. We're going to start here with our Tempest. I have pulled the Lugia, and I have pulled the Machamp already. So it would be crazy to see another one. Absolutely insane to see another one. I know a lot of these prices on these cards really dropped. They really went up lately with the end of this generation. But it would be cool to get anything that I don't have to purchase that I'm still chasing. All right, let's get into it. 
All right, we've got our Slur Puff, Haunch Crow, Murkrow, a Beldum, Baltoy, Sunkern, Fanpy, Welma Reverse, and a non hollow Hishuin Bravery. No first pack magic, but that's okay. 13 to go. Let's see if we get lucky. Actually, wouldn't mind getting that. Um, was it Reggie Drago that I think uh, has an alt art in Silver Tempest, or is the unknown? I think also in this set. I kind of have a hard time remembering everything. It's just starting to blur together. Arkin, Serena. I think we do have a pull. All right, Rufflet, Vulpix, Drowsy, or Growlith, Mistravius. Reverse Halucha, and oh yes, the unknown V. Oh, all right, there we go. We got an unknown V. I've been wanting this one really, really bad. Absolutely one of the best unknown artworks I think I've ever seen. Oh man, it is amazing looking card. I absolutely love it. It really clean too. Centering's really nice on this one too. Let's look at our rear. I don't see nothing. Oh man. That one I think might be going straight into a saver as soon as we're done here. Awesome pull. Super stoked. Man, Silver Tempest has treated me very well compared to other sets. Oh man. Silver Tempest has been it. I am so excited. I don't I'm not even sure what like unknowns at yet, but I was planning on purchasing that card, so I'm so happy to actually get it and just pull it to and from these boxes that I've seen people dog on for a while now. All right. Leafy Camo Poncho. Oh man, we might think I saw another pull right here. Hold on. We got Slurpuff, Lance, Indeedy, Bow Toy, Sunkern. Something's back there. Clink. Patillo. Oh, look at that. Nice Gordy Trainer Gallery. Ice oh, and a non hollow Guard of Wire. Okay, look at that. That was a great lineup for <clears throat> Silver Tempest. Oh, man. That is a beautiful full art, too. Or like a Trainer Gallery full art, whatever. With the way that Ultra Ball is like that. I like that. That looks awesome. He's looking clean. Off a little bit on the top and bottom. Doesn't look bad, though. Pretty clean. You know, sometimes you get bad whitening out of a lot of these packs. Um, especially in the Scarlet and Violet era with the quality control just seemed to really gone down on them. a lot of things. But I guess there ain't much we can really do about it, but it's okay. Awesome start of the box. We're through our Silver Tempest now. Let me get these out of the way. See if we can get another Machamp from Astral Radiance. Or that Samurott would be nice. Oh, right. Energy Lotto. Oh, come on. Hishuin Overquill. Kamado. Cricketot. Psyduck. Patillil. Stantler, Bergmite, Combi, and oh, Cleavor non hollow. You know, right at the top of that card looked a little bit like cut bad, and I thought it was a hot, it was a uh, some shiny from the top, but it wasn't. It done playing tricks on me. Get a drink real quick. Nice little cozy koozie for holding your cans. Ooh. All right, another Astral Radiance. Let's see here. I've had some decent luck with Astral. You know, I pulled the Machamp out of one of those um, uh, Pikachu Eraser packs that they had, the the two the double packs uh, a while back. I think it had like one Evolving in it and one Astral, I want to say. I think that's what it was. And I pulled the, um, uh, the Sneasler too. <clears throat> All right. 
Golduck. I'm going to keep that Golduck right there because I really like Golduck. Heeshween Electrode. Heracross. Mantine. Heeshween Quillfish. Basculin. Poochina. Leafeon. Ooh, nice artwork on the Leafeon. I'm sure my wife's going to like that one. She collects a lot of Leafeon cards. And, oh, non hollow Basculegion. All right. That's right. We save some commons and uncommons over here. <laughs> Can't pass up a nice art. Come on, Astral. See what we can do. There we go. Oh, this you know this one always throws me off because I'm pretty sure it counts as the um, as the energy replaces the energy. I'm pretty sure, Ugh, but I always forget. I can't ever remember, but I think so. All right, Dark Patch, Magneton, Gapejaw, Bog, Swinum, Nicket, Petillil, Bergmite, Hippopotas, Lilligant. And, oh, non hollow Registeel. But I will say that Registeel art is, looks pretty good. Very good. All right. Moving on here. Oh. Another Astral. Let's see what we got. All right. Can we get lucky? I'd love to see another mod champ. I might lose it. All right. Hippowdon, Dark Patch, Magneton, Togepi, Magnemite, Ralts, the Sneasel, Mistravius, Reverse Young Mega, and I think I might see some shiny. Uh, it's getting st it's stuck. It's stuck. Hold on. It's it's stuck to it. I actually can't get it off. Oh, nice. The Beedrill V. Oh, yeah. Look at that full art. I mean, I've, another card I've been really wanting is the uh, Beedrill um, alternate art as well. Because it's one of my other favorite ones from this generation. But I didn't have the full art yet either. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it looks clean. I love Beedrill. Oh, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. I miss I miss uh when just the full arts were like uh your big chase, but the new generation of artworks though, just the illustrations, this adds so much more to the sets now. It is insane. Was this our oh well, actually that was the end of our astral. We're gonna work on our brilliant stars. Which we've I haven't opened a lot of brilliant stars. Um, very, very few out of, um, tens, like some, uh, what was it? I think D23, 10, no, A23, ah, one of the tens, the, you know, the little tens that come with Evolving, Brilliant, and Fusion. Opened up a couple of those. I think that's the, what comes in those tens. I don't know. I got a couple in there. But it would be not, I don't remember all the, other than the Charizard, I don't actually remember all else that comes in Brilliant Stars. So if it just opens so little of it. Floatzel, Hunting Gloves, Shroomish, Turtwig, Mincino, Carablast, Buizel, Haxorus Reverse, and oh, a Motham non hollow. Okay. Still got three more. Honestly, I'm already so happy with this box. And we still have so many more to go, too. All right. Get that trash out of here. It's code card. All right. One, two, three, and four. All right. Let's see here. Magma Basin. Hitmontop. Karadomp. Clefairy. Oh. Sherabi. Sock. Ah. Corefish. Gullet. Reverse Marnie's Pride. And another stuck back. Oh, oh, the Shaman V Star. Nice. I don't have this version of it, but I do have the one. This is the same one that comes in the Shaman uh, V Star Premium Collection box that you can get at Walmart sometimes. Still a beautiful card. Love Shaman. Definitely uh, on my top mythical list. 
for sure. All right, not bad, not bad. We got two more on Brilliant. We still got a shot for the Zard. You know, if I've you've heard me before, I'm not I'm not a a huge Charizard fan. Blastoise is definitely my favorite. My lineup is Blastoise, Venusaur, then Charizard. But I would the card featuring Venusaur and the reverse one is just awesome. Some of the I love I love when they do the the mix up or the match up like uh, cards with them too to showcase others with them. I just, they just looked really good. All right, Sneasel, Clink, Spirit Tomb, Axu. Oh, we got the Jolteon Trainer Gallery. Nice. I love this one. This one actually looks like a little bit of a cleaner version than the one I already have, but I think I might see something behind it, so we're not going to look just yet. What do we got? And we got a Berry Full Art. Nice. These... Look, I don't know about everybody else, but this box has been loaded. Very good box. I know they're all not like this. But these... Really nice. I love this Jolteon. Very nice. Very clean one. Definitely a little bit better looking than the one I have over in my personal collection. The berry's not bad, too. He's not one of my favorites, but is nice and clean, too. The whole box has been clean. A lot of the edges, very nice. And we still got three more Lost Origin and one Fusion Strike. All right. Let me get these out of here. See what we can do. There you go. Brilliant Stars even in... Are they even still in rotate? Yeah, they are still in rotation. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, they are. One, two, three, um, four. Or actually, no, I don't think they are. I can't remember if we're on E now. I forget. I, I haven't been playing the TCG lately. Not since the, um, the switch over when some of the uh, sets dropped off of um, competitive. Mincino, Piplup, Baltoys, our last chance for a nice Zard, Snow Runt, Vibrava, and all oh, the hollow by barrel. Nice. Oh, you know F is still in because I know you can still use I know you can still use a uh, by barrel. Pretty sure anyways. I think it was just D and E that got off the rotation. But anyone is welcome to correct me. Because, like I said, I haven't been playing the TCG lately. Might be getting back into it again here soon. Because there is some uh, some sets coming up soon featuring Kingdra that I am quite interested in. Alright. We're on the Lost Origin. Now, Lost Origin is a set that I haven't pulled anything from. Nothing. But the, t the Tina is nice. Don't get me wrong. The Tina is nice. But I want to see the Aerodactyl. That's what I'm after. Carbink. Nuzleaf. Relicanth. Slugma. Clefairy. Apom. Spinarak. Litwick. Reverse Magirna. And all oh, that. That threw me off. non hollow Bonnet. Those are nice hollows, though, when they have that little pattern on, on the outside of the cards, though. All right, let's see. Whew. All right. Come on. All right. Lake Aquity, Carbink, Nuzleaf, Shellos. Mianfu, Litleo, Ghastly, Ducklet, Reverse Lost Vacuum. Oh, look at that. The Gold Lost Vacuum. Nice. That right there is going in a leaf. Beautiful. I believe that is the second time we have pulled a Gold Lost Vacuum. Beautiful card. I love gold rares. 
absolutely nice. Clean looking too. Centering's off on the top and the bottom. Not bad at all. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, he goes over there. Right there. All right. Okay. This is our last, last pack magic card. Let's see if we can pull that Aerodactyl or Tina. All right. One, two, three, and four. Try to keep it tight. Don't want to see anything in the back. All right. Lost Vacuum, Gastrodon, Lampent, Rosilia, Rock Ruff, Seal, Shuppet, My Boy Machop. Got a reverse Porygon. And. Oh, the Kyurem V Max. Look at that. Ooh, this box was looted. Oh. Look at that V Max, though. Man, it looks amazing. Very beautiful V Max. This whole box had really clean centering. Really clean edges, too. Like, these are very nice boxes. They were packaged well, too, when I ordered them because they didn't, they came with, like, the box fitted to the Heavy Hitters collection, too. So you can tell they've just been handled well. Very nice. Oh, man, we have got a very nice lineup, I feel like, today. For sure. Let's just go over it one more time, see what all we have here. We've got our Kiram VMAX here. Our Gold Lost Vacuum, our Berry Full Art, our Trainer Gallery Jolteon, Shaman V Star, our Beedrill Full Art, our Gordy Trainer Gallery, and the best pull of the box, at least in my opinion, is this unknown alternate art. It is an amazing card. It looks good. This was a great box. Great box. I can't say if they're good boxes to open, but. I think out of the ones that I have, I got very lucky because I got about four of them, and uh, this is the one I picked. So, anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed. <clears throat> Let me know if you like the rebranding with the name. Let me know if you've had any good luck out of these heavy hitters collections, too. Let me know if you like the Horn of Pulls, our alternate art. I don't really know. The alternate art, I don't know, glory horn. That's what we're going to go with. Anyways, appreciate everyone watching. Plan to come back now for a little bit as much as I can. Going to be probably uploading around every couple weeks, uh, whatever I feel like I can do. But just stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed. Keep an eye out, and everyone have a great day.